Hello there. Uh, welcome back to Gretain Accounting. Uh, in this video, we want to look at uh, internal uh, control. Uh, we are going to look at internal control. So we are going to start by uh, trying to describe uh, what exactly we mean by internal control. So you would see that internal control uh, involves uh, everything that controls risk to an organization or business. Uh, and uh, it is a means by which an organization resources are directed, monitored, and measured. So uh, that's uh, what we have in terms of uh, internal control. So at the end of the day, uh, it, it plays a role in detecting and uh, preventing fraud uh, uh, that is protecting uh, the organization's resources. So uh, that's the essence of internal control, to protect uh, the organization's resources. So you would see that uh, the simplest example that we can give in terms of internal control uh, is uh, a mechanism uh, that is put at uh, the entrance of a, of of uh, most uh, retail outlets. Uh, remember, uh, when you buy something from a retail outlet, when you are going out out of uh, the shop, uh, you see uh, some uh, security guards are uh, on the on the entrance are uh, checking at uh, the contents of the plastics that will be uh, uh, coming out with of uh, containing the goods that we have bought. So uh, the, the security guards in, in the entrance will check. Uh, be your receipts against a uh, uh, physical uh, 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 product that we have bought to check if uh, uh, the uh, uh, the receipt is tallying with what is in your plastic bag. So that's a, a, a simple example that we can give in terms of an internal control measure that can be put uh, uh, in, in a business. So basically, uh, we have uh, many uh, various examples that we have uh, that are implemented uh, in in the operations of businesses. So uh, going to uh, the information that we have according to this video, we have the explanation again uh, in terms of what we mean by internal control. Uh, it reads internal control in, in business is what management can do to exercise authority over all you obtained. It is the means by which an organization's resources are directed, are monitored, and measured. Uh, it plays an important role in detecting and preventing fraud and uh, in the form of machinery and property, and also intangible uh, in the form of reputation or intellectual property such as trademarks. So basically, uh, that's the description that we have uh, for internal control. So um, we have uh, various areas where internal controls are, are, are implemented. Uh, control must be kept over the following. Uh, we've got a stock control. Uh, the issue of stock control also, um, uh, we have uh, the in, in, uh, internal control mechanism, mechanisms being applied. We also have control over debtors, uh, control over creditors, uh, control over fixed assets, uh, control over cash. So uh, basically what we are saying is uh, when we are having stock control, we are exercising internal control. When we are having control over debtors, we are exercising uh, internal uh, control. So you see that we have uh, also various types of uh, internal control. So we can uh, just uh, try to look at um, uh, types of internal controls. Uh, so you can just say types uh, of uh, internal uh, internal control. So um, basically, uh, we have uh, one one of the uh, preventive controls. So on preventive controls, um, these are designed uh, to prevent errors or fraud uh, from uh, occurring. For example, we have a, a segregation of duties, um, and that is a different people being responsible for uh, for distinct stages of of, uh, of uh, maybe uh, the processes that we have in, in that business. So and that is now a preventative uh, control. So basically, uh, the use of a preventive control is that uh, we are trying uh, to make sure that uh, we don't have um, uh, uh, situations uh, that are, are going to transfer in that business uh, by avoiding them. So that's a preventive uh, control. We can also have another uh, another type, uh, which is a detective control. Uh, also have detective. So uh, in detective control, uh, this aim to identify the problem that have already occurred. Uh, for example, we've got the issue of banking conciliation, uh, which compare internal records to the statements uh, to detect uh, differences or discrepancies. So those are detective control, and we are saying they aim to identify the problem that have already occurred. That is a uh, detective, which is a uh, different for preventive, whereby we are saying preventive, uh, we are trying to avoid uh, a problem from occurring. Then detective, we are trying to identify a problem that is occurred. So uh, we also have another type, which is corrective control. So um, on corrective control, uh, we are saying uh, they hope fix errors after they uh, after they they are identified after identifying the uh, the problems or the errors uh, then uh, we can apply corrective controls uh, to fix that. So um, for example, we have got accounting adjustments which are made after an audit has taken place. So um, that is uh, uh, the third type of internal control that we have. 
Then um, from there, we can also try to uh, give uh, a few examples uh, of internal controls. So uh, we are now on examples. Uh, examples of internal controls. So um, examples of internal controls, uh, we can try to uh, come up with, uh, uh, for example, we can have segregation of duty controls. Uh, segregation of duties. So on segregation of duties, we are saying, but this is just dividing tasks among workers, uh, ensuring that no one is total control over a process. So by making sure that no one is a total control over uh, a process, it means um, one is work is going to be checked uh, by another person. So in that way, uh, we are preventing many circumstances. Uh, for example, fraud is being prevented, and uh, even errors are, uh, can easily be detected uh, in such a way. Then uh, we we'll give you an example of one person may be responsible for processing payments while another for approval. And the third, and the third, uh, and the third part is also there for reconciliation. So that's the scenario that we can uh, we can have in terms of segregation of duties. Then another example uh, that we can also give of internal of internal control is uh, access control, access control, um, and information security. So um, when access control and information security, we are saying. Uh, this is just um, uh, uh, generally uh, preventing unauthorized access uh, to sensitive data areas uh, by putting, uh, maybe uh, we can have an uh, issue of passwords uh, on uh, uh, on PCs, uh, on computers, uh, so that uh, uh, the access of uh, uh, those uh, machines are, are limited, uh, and then they need authorization for you to access. So, or even uh, strengthening uh, certain uh, system security, the security that we have, um, uh, at a business also uh, can also be strengthened. Uh, we have got uh, the issue of uh, maybe uh, uh, codes uh, that can codes that can be also applied uh, in terms of entrance uh, of, of certain rooms. Uh, you need maybe to uh, input a code so that you can be able to enter a certain room. So that is also an example of an internal control in the form of access or control. And also, uh, this is uh, uh, in a way that to ensure that the right people have access uh, to certain areas. So uh, we have other also uh, examples of uh, internal control that we can also uh, include that is uh, uh, approval procedures. Approval uh, procedures also can be an example of internal control and also uh, the financial reconciliations, uh, internal controls. Uh, so uh, these are other examples of internal controls that you can give. So um, uh, this is uh, what we have, guys, according to explanations of internal control uh, within the context of this video. So thank you for listening, and hopefully the video was helpful. Uh, please, let's not forget to subscribe and share. Let's not forget to share the link to our colleagues who are doing the channel accounting. Uh, let's take note. Uh, more videos are going to come. So let's stay tuned. Uh, let's uh, get notified by subscribing and turning on the notification button. Let's meet again in the next video. As for this video, I'm out.